Sculpt Express. This is a 45 minute class. You need us the dumbbells, uh, your mat, some friends, if you can find some, wrestle them up. I did. We've got Terry with us today, Destiny with us today, Angela with us today. So you have friends to sweat with you. Um, that said, whoo, put your dumbbells on top of your mat, click play on your playlist, find downward facing dog, please. <laughs> From here, press into the L shape of your fingers. Send your hips high and back, melt your heels towards your mat. Find any movements that feel good, you guys. Come into your breath. Maybe you hinge forward into high plank and then back to down dog. If that seems like a lot, maybe you just pedal through your feet. Um, so let's talk about being prepared. Being prepared. I'm I'm often not. I'm to be honest, I'm one of those people that like I'm kind of a hot mess person. Like it extends to every aspect of my life. I am never early. Uh, it drives me crazy. So I work on it, but I'm just one of those people like I will find something else to do. If I've got five more minutes where I know I have to leave, I'm going to empty the dishwasher or I'm going to like take the dog for a little extra jaunt through the neighborhood. Like I just try to cram everything in and sometimes it doesn't serve me. And I'm noticing the more prepared I am, the more confident I am. So for instance, when I write these classes late at night before I teach them in the morning, I either feel really good about it when I don't wait to the last minute or I feel kind of like we're going to see how it goes together when I do. So I want you to think about the next 45 minutes on your mat. And I want you to think about the opportunities, the moments where you're not feeling confident as an opportunity to prepare and to know that we are preparing. We are preparing as we go throughout class for other things to come. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. You're ready. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Actually, take ragdoll pose. Take your feet a little bit wider than a forward fold. Maybe hip distance. I like mine off my mat. Now bend generously through your knees. Hinge from your hips. Allow your head to hang heavy. Maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you find a bind. This is your first opportunity to prepare, to prepare your body for some movement. Show some love here. Find space between each vertebra. Stretch the back of your legs. Allow any tension, any stress to roll right off your shoulders. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale your right arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe here. Bend generously through your opposite knee. Square your hips towards your mat. Twist through your waist. Roll your top shoulder back. Feel free to find any movements through your wrists, through your shoulders that feel good. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your right arm down. Inhale your left arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe here. Same rules apply. Bend generously through your opposite knee. Attempt to find the same sensation on this side. And then perhaps the same release by moving through your shoulder, through your wrist. Inhale, reach up one more inch. Exhale, forward fold. I mean it this time. Heel toe your feet together, please. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe here. Commit this movement to memory. We're coming back to it. So even though it's just a halfway lift, I want you to actively press into your shins, into your thighs. Avoid your knees. That, that's no bueno. <laughs> reach your tailbone back, the crown of your head forward. Parallel your belly with your mat. Big breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, breathe here. Stack one vertebra on top of the next, glide your shoulders away from your ears, turn your pinkies in to bronze the backside of your body. Inhale, exhale, mini back bend, breathe here. Cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, shine your chest forward, breathe out. Inhale, mountain pose, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, high plank. Breathe here, stack your shoulders over your wrists, roll your heels up over your toes. Now everything in between, tighten it up. So hug up through your belly as you lower your booty down. Take a big breath in, exhale, let it go. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. I know I made you hold it for a second. We're not doing any chaturangas today, so there's that. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, please. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, please. Exhale, high plank. Stay and breathe. Few breaths. Now, micro bend your elbows. Hollow through your armpit, dome through your back. So press your middle back, your upper back between your shoulder blades to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, friends. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, breathe here. Press all of your body weight into your heels. C, lift, wiggle your toes. Tuck your tailbone under, engage your lower abdominals, take a big breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, breathe here. Nothing changes through your legs, but squeeze your palms together above your hips, lock your triceps out, exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Step your left foot back, please, and breathe here. In crescent lunge, roll your back heel up over your back toe. Parallel your front hamstring with your mat. That means, you guys, I bend my back knee a lot. Now stack your shoulders up over your hips. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe here. Parallel the knife edge of your back foot with the back edge of your mat. Again, parallel your front hamstring with your mat. That means bend your knees 90 degrees, guys. Get low. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Exhale. Inhale, star pose. Breathe here. Turn your toes forward, maybe slightly out, about 45 degrees. Either way, find a big stretch. Reach through your fingers, glad your shoulders down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, horse pose. Breathe here. Turn your heels in, toes out. Drop your hips in line with your knees. Find length from your tailbone through the crown of your head. Exhale. Inhale, star. Exhale, lifted table. Breathe here. Windmill down, plant your hands beneath your shoulders again. Now hover your knees above your mat, beneath your hips. So bend your hips, your knees both 90 degrees. Hug your belly up and in. Exhale. Inhale, high plank, step both feet back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's flow that in the second side. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane, arms. Inhale, crescent lunge, step your right foot back. Exhale, warrior two. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this with you. Inhale, star pose. Maybe I'm preparing and make sure I got it right. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, lifted table. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's add some movement to that, friends. Take a peek at your neighbors if you got them. Uh, you guys got them. Look under your armpit. Oh, hey, friend. Hey. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, fold low. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your hands to heart and center. Alternate 90 degree front curtsies. Hold your chair pose, get low. Step forward, bring your heel down, drop your hips immediately, come right back to chair. Step forward and cross. As soon as your heel touches the ground, drop your hips. Come back to chair. Forward, 90 degree curtsy lunge. That means again, you bend your both knees 90 degrees. It's shallow. It's shallow and it's low, so you can go fast. Burn through your quads, explode up using your glutes. Catch yourself with your quads, come up with your glutes, yeah. Cross over your body, stay low. You got it, friends. Uh, spoiler alert, we're coming back to this. Commit it to memory. Terry's like, I'm really close to this door. Uh, I could bolt now. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're not uneven through anything yet. Mm. But stay, stay. We are preparing. This is the opportunity to feel some things to get you in a better position later, to find more confidence, more strength. Four. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge, step your left foot back. Crescent lunge to a wide squat. So sink down, step wide. Sink back, step wide. Step it back, step to the side. Step back to the side. Come into a low squat. Maybe you touch your elbows to your knees. Reach your arms up in your crescent lunge. So you can find mobility through your shoulders and light up through your lats. P.S. There's a little bit of sneaky cardio with this one. You guys picking that up yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Angela doesn't miss anything. Five more. Last three. Two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Side lunge into a nine degree pivot. What? Side lunge to the back. Sink your booty down behind your knee. Come up through star, pivot, nine degree lunge to the front. Up through star, side lunge to the back. 
pivot, 90 degree lunge to the front. Side lunge to the back. 90 degree lunge to the front. And a 90 degree lunge, you guys, we've been talking about this. Bend both knees 90 degrees. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. You gotta come back up through star. Pivot, turn through your back foot. You got it. Like, which leg is more mad here? I think it's my back. I think it's my back leg. Destiny says yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Either way, know that you are sliding it around. There's a lot happening here. We're burning through your biggest muscles, uh, your lower body, like all of them. And both legs, just in different ways. So you know there's a side two to this, right? I mean, just committed to memory. It's going to be great. Four more. Last three. Two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. Heel lift, squat. Sing down your horse pose. Dig through your heels. As you come up, lift them up. You come up maybe three quarters of the way. Lower on your heels. Lift to your toes. Lower on your heels. Lift to your toes. As you squeeze your calves to the back of your knees. It's hard to stand all the way up, right? It's hard to straighten my legs all the way up. Because my feet are wide. You don't need to come all the way up. In fact, it's better if you don't. You get time under tension. Come up maybe like seven-eighths of the way. And then sink back down to your heels. Good, you guys. And maybe you consider it this way, right? With your feet so far out wide, you have more stability to anchor your weight, to distribute it through both feet. Hug everything up to your midline, including your navel. Hug it to your spine. Four more. Last three. Two. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, lifted table. Lifted table. Spinal balance, alternate, oh snap. Reach your left arm, right leg. Reset, other side, reset, other side. Whoa, reset, other side, reset. Don't go too fast, you'll fall like me. The good news is friends, you're just hovering above your mat. If you do fall, if you lose your balance, smile, laugh about it, it's fun. This is play time that recruits your core muscles, yes. And your shoulders. Maybe your glutes and hamstrings as you kick back. I mean, I don't know, friends. It's like a pick your own adventure moment. Five more, please. Yes, it's hard. Last three. When I say fun playtime, I don't mean it's easy. Exhale, lift the table. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold low. Inhale, chair pose. Heel toe your feet out a little wider. A deadlift to a squat. So chair is just the vehicle to get here. Deadlift, it's a halfway lift. Send your booty back, reach the crown of your head. From here, drop into a squat. Reset. Glide it back, drop it, stand up. Glide, drop, stand. Glide, drop, stand. Glide, drop, stand. We're coming back to this weirdness. It's worth preparing. Glide your heads back, drop them down, stand up. Glide them back, drop them down, stand up, keep going. This one's just a committed to memory, just to create some mind muscle connection, some muscle memory as well. It's a great opportunity to check in and note like, where does it feel most comfortable? Where's my optimal foot placement? Do you need to turn your toes out more? Do you need to take your feet wider? Do you need to go the opposite? You pick friends, last three, two, inhale chair. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge, step your right foot back. Crescent lunge, wide squat. Crescent lunge, wide squat. Step it back, step it out. Step it back, step it out. Reach up, pull it in. Reach up, pull it in, keep going. Little bit of cardio. It's a cardio. Well, it isn't here. We've got friends today. We've got friends. Love friends. Have you got a home practice going on? I know you probably miss the community. I know you probably miss seeing some people, but know that you are not alone. We are doing this with you. And so are other people. Five more. Last three, two, inhale. Oh, excuse me. Inhale, crescent lunge. Yep, yep, yep. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Side lunge to the back, 90 degree lunge to the front. Side lunge to the back of your mat. Pivot. Reach, sink, reach, pivot, 
reach. I mean, I'm on the other side. I had to move. So you're side lunging to your back of your mat, 90 degree lunge to the front of your mat. My mat's all relative at this point. Like nobody knows which way I'm facing. I'm trying to face you. <laughs> Four more. Last three. Two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse pose. We're going to skip it. Inhale, star. Exhale, look at the table because we want to be here for this one. Alternate shoulder tap with a lateral toe tap. So we go to the same direction. Tap your left shoulder, tap your left toe. Come back, right. Come back, left. Come back, right. Come back, left. Squeeze to your abductor, your side booty. Point your toe. Point it. Point it. Go right. Go left. Go right. Go left. This one's easier. I would say more fun. No, instead of reaching forward, reaching side to side. It's like, stop talking, get us out. Five more. <laughs> Last three. Two, exhale, lifted table. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do some stuff. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway, please. Exhale, fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose. In chair pose. I don't have a name for this. We'll, we'll do a few compound movements. Forward press in chair pose. Press your dumbbells forward. Pull them in. Come into a standing heel lift. Press them forward. Sink down. Squeeze it up. Squeeze your calves. Press and sink. Pull and come up. Press and sink. Pull and come up. It's a lot of balance. Pull your belly up and in. As you press, Reach through your chest, through your shoulders, your press muscles. As you come up, use your pull muscles, your biceps, your back. So again, you guys, we are preparing. This is a way to warm your entire body up. There's no flailing here because there's balance. You cannot, like, rush through this. There's no way. There's no way. You're going to fall over. So take your time to prepare. Knowing that these movements aren't necessarily easy, but they help you with what's to come. Not just in this class, but throughout life. We keep moving our body for functional strength, for our health, for our mental health, our emotional health. Four more, please. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. All right, guys. Obviously, there's a kick back here. We add our alternate front curtsy. Bend your elbows. Bring your dumbbells to your hips as you curtsy front. Right back to chair with your kick back. Curtsy front, kick back. Curtsy front, kick back. To your hips, kick them back. To your hips, kick them back. Stack your shoulders as you curtsy. Inch forward as you kick back. I'll turn this way so you can see. Chair airplane arms. Curtsy, kick back. Curtsy, kick back. Curtsy, kick back. Take it faster. Get lower. Come back to your chair. The tendency here is to want to stand up. Squeeze your elbows behind your rib cage. Keep them glued there. Lock your triceps out. Burn through your legs. Four, three, two. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Step your left foot back. In your crescent lunge, set your feet up. Take a moment to get stable. We're holding here. From here, a bicep curl. Hold your crescent lunge, bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Squeeze it up. Maybe you bring your elbows slightly in front of your rib cage for more bicep engagement. We have several opportunities for biceps today. But this is like the most bang for your buck one. So I want you guys to flex your guns. To squeeze your bicep, and as you flex it, your muscle contracts, it gets shorter, it gets smaller. Your elbows bend. I know this seems like wonderful magic. It's just physiology. You got it. Lower with control. Flex it up. How's your right glute feeling? Oh, okay. Angela's feeling it only. We'll wait for you guys to catch up. She's like, no, no, I thought it was rhetorical. <laughs> I also thank them for coming to class today. She's like, well... I mean, in my mind, not doing this physically, we could be here for days. And all you guys are at home like, no, no. <laughs> so thank you for being here, keeping me honest. Five seconds, we add on. 
in four, three, two, on your next bicep curl. Tap your knee, curl, step out wide. What are we doing? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, bicep extension, sorry, I forgot. Lower and curl, step it forward. Lower and curl, step out wide, press your dumbbells forward. Tap your knee, curl and press. Extend your bicep forward. So the press forward is not like a chair where we were pressing forward. This one, you guys, just lead with your bicep. Press your bicep forward. So you get the curl and then the press forward. The extension. The curl and the extension. Smaller range of motion. Staying in your biceps, your big muscles. Also because there's an element of cardio here. Like, it's happening. It's happening. Keep going. Strength cardio. How are we doing? Okay, well, we're going to add on. But you're going to get out of your legs for a hot second. In four, three, two. Next time you step out, add a half burpee. Press, curl it back. Half burpee. Press it forward, curl it back. Half burpee. Bicep extension, bicep curl. Half burpee. Bicep extension, bicep curl. Half burpee. Keep going. So when you step to the side, immediately drop, add your half burpee. So put your weights down, jump your feet back. Just strengthen your belly to jump them forward. Bicep extension, right back into your lunge with a bicep curl. You've been doing this. We just add it on. And look, gang, it's okay if it doesn't feel fluid. Same. We're still getting all the movements, burning to your biceps, adding an element of cardio, destroying your legs in the process. I mean, we are being efficient here. 45 minutes together. Five more. Last three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, pull your dumbbells to your heart center. Inhale, star pose. Heel toe your feet a little closer. Deadlift with a reverse grip row into a squat. Holy buckets. Deadlift, glide your tailbone back. Turn your palms forward, reverse grip row. Hold it here, drop to your squat. Squeeze it up, reset. Booty back, pull, drop, stand up. Booty back, pull, drop, squeeze up. Booty back, pull, hold, 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 drop, reset. Booty back, pull, drop, reset. Booty back, pull, drop, reset. Booty back, pull, drop, reset. Keep going. After you send your tailbone back for your deadlift, feel your hamstring stretch. Hug your belly up and in. Parallel your belly with your mat. From there, add the reverse grip pull. So face your palms forward. Graze your elbows along your rib cage. Squeeze your shoulder blades to the ceiling. Pinch, contract. Hold the pull as you drop your seat down. You'll notice the angle of resistance change. The sensation changes as well. But can you keep the contraction through your back? Good, you guys. Also, just going to point out, this is a lovely one to like slow down. Take some active recovery, but still get some work in. There's no burpee in this situation. There is no B word coming up. Zipping it, zipping it. How are we doing, friends? Okay. Four more. Last three. Two. Inhale, star pose. Side lunge to a 90 degree lunge forward. We add some upper body now. Side lunge to the back with a fly. Come through center. 90 degree lunge with a front raise. Come through center. Fly as you sink down. Raise as you turn. Fly in your side lunge. Front raise as you lunge to the top. Fly to the back. Front raise to the front. Side lunge, sink down. Pivot, front raise. Side lunge, sink. Pivot, front raise. Pull it back. Lift it up. Pull it back. Lift it up. All right, guys. These are compound movements. Obviously. They're also a lot of mind-muscle connection. You cannot flail through this. You have to be present. And part of preparing is being present. So you take this one thing at a time. As you side lunge to the back, turn your toes forward. Like you're in star pose, keep your toes forward. Then drop your knee, track your knee over your back toe, good. 
Glide your booty back behind your heel. Your torso naturally hinges forward. That's where you get the back fly. You want to hinge forward. As you turn forward, you get an opportunity to reset. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Hug your belly to your spine. Create a nice solid base for your raise. Good, you guys. <sighs> Angela's counting down for me now. Okay. Last three. I'm close. I'm close. Two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. I added a few numbers, Angela. Sorry. <laughs> In horse pose. Heel to squat to a squat jump. Sink through your heels. Lift to your toes. Then jump. Lift to your toes. Then jump. Heel to squat. Jump. Heel to squat. Squat jump. You've been here before. You've warmed up with these singles. The squats, you come to your toes. On your next one, you get a jump. So find some explosiveness. As you sink down horse pose, you come up to your toes. Catch yourself. Imagine you're going to jump all the way up, but catch yourself. Anchor your toes to your mat. The next one, you get some height. This one's for sure cardio. Don't kid yourself. You got it, friends. Come on, come on. Does it come for free? No, no but you got it. You have what it takes. You are prepared and prepped. Moments like this build confidence. They build strength. You are ready. You can do it. Tell yourself you can. Doesn't mean it's easy. Doesn't mean you like it, but push. You are on the cusp of change. If you can stay. Four. Last three. Keep moving. I love that. Two. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, lifted table. Pull. Pivot, plant your weights. Drop them down, lifted table. We'll take a half lifted table. Extend your left leg long, float it, squeeze your glute, press through your heel. Left knee tuck, drop, oil ringer push up. Hover and pull. Kick it back, drop, oil ringer push up. Hover, drive, kick it, lower, tricep push up. Hover and drive, kick it. Lower, tricep push-up. Continue to squeeze your left butt cheek. Hug your belly button up and in. It's a lot of core. It's shoulders. But we're really here for your triceps. For your triceps, friends. And we already hit them once. With our chair pose, chair airplane arms. So hug your elbows into your rib cage. You're ready, you're ready. You're taking a lot of your body weight out. We've come down to our mat. We found some grounding. So focus here. Hug up through your core. You've got it, friends. Also, we're done with side one. Last three, two, exhale with the table, hover both knees, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Grab your, exhale, fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose. A bent over narrow row with a 45 degree row. So from chair pose, send your booty back. Hinge forward a lot. Narrow row, hold the top, press out 45, pull it in, lower. Narrow row, hold the top at a 45 degree press, pull, lower. Narrow row, 45. Lower in your narrow. Pull, press out, pull it in, lower narrow. Pull it narrow, press 45, pull in wide, lower narrow so at the top of your narrow row you add a 45 degree press and pull so you're going to target your back at different angles the lift and lowering of your dumbbells happens in a narrow row though you've got it guys again i cannot say this enough engage through your core squeeze your belly up and into your rib cage to protect your lower back know that you are working your lower back here but we don't want to strain it Five more, please. Last three, two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. This time with a 45 degree tricep kick out. So bring your palms facing back, your arms out 45 degrees. This is your chair, airplane arms. Alternate front curtsy. Pull your dumbbells to your hips and curtsy, kick out. Tuck them in, kick out. Curtsy, kick out. Curtsy, chair, airplane. Curtsy, chair, airplane, arms. Curtsy at 45 degrees. So we're hitting your triceps at a different angle. Press through your palms. Press through your palms. 
sink low. Step your heel like right in front of your knee. Four more, please. Go faster. Last three. Two. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Crescent lunge, hold. Hammer curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower. Flex it up. Lower. Flex it up. Isometric hold through your lower body. Dig through your left heel, your front heel, light up through your left glute. If you hinge forward slightly, you take a little something off your right quad. Now if you're like, no, it's my left glute that's screaming. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Share some love with your quad. Sink a little lower. We get an add on. You know where we're going to the wide squat. This time with a nine degree shoulder raise. So after you curl, curl, step out, raise. Come back, tap your knee, curl. Step out, shoulder raise. Come back, tap and curl, raise. Hammer curl, step out to raise. Hammer curl, step out to raise. Tap and curl, step out to raise. See if you can stay low in your left leg. As in, you're in your crescent lunge, you go to the bottom, tap your knee and curl, then step out so you can stay low. You get out of your leg, ish. When we add the half burpee, on your next step out, step out, half burpee, shoulder raise, back to your lunge and curl, step out, half burpee, raise to your hammer curl, step out, half burpee, raise to your lunge and curl, step out, half burpee, raise, back to your lunge curl, keep going. You've been here before, friends. Like, I don't feel like anything of this is like familiar, fair. And that's why we're doing it. Keep going. You have to be here. You cannot repair by simply going through motions. So think about it. If you need to change it up a little, that's okay. If you're not sure you're doing it right, that's okay. Do something that works for you. Eight seconds. Last five, four, three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Air dumbbells to heart center. Inhale, star pose. High pull with a preacher curl. We'll drop to horse. High pull looks just like this. Cactus your arms, squeeze your back. Lower down, put your elbows inside your thighs. Preacher curl. High pull, drop, preach your curl. High pull, curl. High pull, curl. Squeeze your bicep, squeeze your back. Biceps, your back. Biceps, you've got it. Get low in your squat. You get a lovely molasses stretch as you curl. Like I didn't say that was lovely. Well, tell yourself it is, tell yourself it is, damn it. It makes a difference. You know what else makes a difference? Smile. Just raise both corners of your mouth. You don't have to mean it. It could be like, I'm smiling because I'm crazy. That's okay. That's okay, it helps. We use whatever tools we got, friends. But press your elbows into your inner thighs. Isolate your bicep. Five more. We're so close to being done. Last three, also, these have gotten shorter. Did you notice they've gotten a little bit easier? They'll feel easier. But they're not as like full throttle side one. That's on purpose. We front loaded this sucker. The hard work's behind you. Last three, two, inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse, don't slap me. Alternate 90 degree curtsies to the back. The squat jump in the middle. 90 degree curtsy back. Come center, squat jump. Curtsy, center, squat jump. Curtsy, wide, squat jump, curtsy. Wide, squat jump, curtsy, wide, squat jump, curtsy, wide, ha, keep going. This is your last bit of cardio, this is it. This is it, how do we feel about it? If we could talk, we tell me, okay, okay, five more. Make them bigger, last three, two. Exhale, horse pose, move out your dumbbells, it don't matter. Inhale, star. Exhale, lifted table, windmill down. 
Look at the table, we're on side two. Hover your knees. Float your right leg back. Knee drive, kick it, lower, oil rigger, hover, pull, kick it, lower, oil rigger push up, hover, pull, kick, drop, oil rigger, hover, knee drive, kick it, lower, oil rigger. This is the fourth time we're in your triceps. What? So if you feel like you're dying, that's why. And if you don't, it's because we've taken a lot of your body weight out of this. You could always add some, just saying. You could hover your knee for the push-up. You could stay in your half with the table, but you have to decide to side. But no, we are not getting back up. We will touch our dumbbells for some more chest as we do core, and then we're stretching and we're out, friends. So show up here, finish, give me everything you've got. The last 40 some moments have been preparing you this for this moment. Five, last three, Two, exhale with the table. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, just to stretch your shoulders. Now drop to your knees. Swing your legs out front, grab your dumbbells. Add prep scissors. Come all the way to your back. Press your dumbbells above your chest. Now come into ab prep. Glue your lower back to your mat. Now hover your legs in scissors, scissors. Use the strength of your lower abdominals to pull your leg up, squeeze them. These don't need to be lightning fast. Pointer flex your foot to engage your leg, make it feel lighter. You've got it, you've got it, I know, I know, I know. Allow your dumbbells as they hover kind of between your chest and your belly to anchor your lower back down. We're almost there, friends. You're gonna lower to your back and slow your scissor in about eight seconds. Keep going. Last five, four, three, two, lower to your back, hold your hover. Scissor your legs, hip lift. Lower both, scissor and hip lift. I know, I know. It's fun, it can be fun, it can be fun. My scissor is very narrow. It is very narrow. It's not a scissor, it's more of a stagger. I know. Again, you guys, adult playtime, adult playtime. There is no way you do not feel your abdominals now, yeah? Like these scissors are easy and fun, and you're like, hot damn, no, they're not. They were the prep work. They were the prep work. This is the real work. But you are ready. Push, five. Last three, two. Drop your legs down. Bring your dumbbells above your chest. They're not already there. Leg hover. Just hold the hover. Glue your lower back to your mat. Press to your heels. Rotating chest press. Inhale lower. Bring your elbows wide outside your shoulders. Exhale, squeeze your chest. Press your dumbbells up. Rotate them in to face your palms. Lower wide. Reverse grip at the top. Lower wide. Rotate. Lower wide. Rotate. Palms forward. Palms towards your face. Palms forward. Palms towards your face. You can always bring one foot to your mat. You can hold the hover to the other leg, but it takes the strain off your lower back because your core should be barking. If you've taken that option, now switch it out. Continue to squeeze through your chest. Put all the work into your chest. Squeeze your pecs. So initiate the movement by flexing your chest, not just punching your dumbbells up. Squeeze from here, friends. Almost there, almost there. For the last eight seconds, come back to your leg hover. Push your heels out. Hover above your mat. Last three. Two. Bring your dumbbells to about eye level. Face your palms to the ceiling. Around the world, chest fly with a tuck. From here, about eye level. Tuck up. Touch your dumbbells behind your hamstrings. Lower. I know, Angela's laughing. That just means you get more core work, Angela, if you're laughing. <laughs> So we've done around the world for our last a million times. This one's more for your chest. So keep your dumbbells above your chest, your eyes, not overhead. The full range of motion, believe it or not, feels a little, a little better. Five more, you can roll through your back. Last three, two, lower down. Bring your dumbbells by your side. 
plant your heels down. If you aren't feeling frisky, you can still keep the hover. Most of us are done. So you can plant your heels, come into ab prep again, oblique crunches, reach towards your heels. Reach right, reach left, reach right, reach left. Crunch right, crunch left. We're just here to finish our obliques, you guys. Your entire abdominal wall has been working. Now we're isolating to your sides. As you reach your dumbbell towards your heel or hip or whatever you're doing with your legs, know that it is more about the crunch to your side body. So bringing your bottom rib closer to your hip bone. Maybe you find at this point, you come out of ab prep, you relax your head, neck and shoulders down on your mat. You can still crunch, you can still crunch your range of motion, make it smaller. You have a little more drag. Keep going, keep the engagement. Eight seconds. We're completely done in five. Last three, two. Release your dumbbells, hug your knees to your chest, rock forward and back, side to side. You made it, friends. Amazing, amazing. From here, find a figure four stretch. Bring your right ankle above your left knee. You can stay on your back for a supine figure four, or if you're like me and want to come up to your seat, do that. Either way, flex your toes to protect your knee joint. If you're on your back, you can reach through the keyhole you've created. Interlace your fingers behind your hamstring. Create some leverage by maybe pressing your elbow into your knee. If you're on your seat, it's real easy. The closer you are to the binds that you've created, the more stretch you get. If you're on your seat, I would ask you to glide your shoulders down away from your ears. If it feels okay, gently sway side to side, get into any nooks and crannies. Take a big breath in. Exhale, unwind, figure four on the other side. Bring your left ankle above your right knee, flex your toes. Find the same sensation on this side. Now, it doesn't need to be the exact same posture. It doesn't even need to look the same. Soften or close your eyes. There's nothing left to see or do. Gently sway. Take a big breath in. Exhale, unwind. Inhale, your arms overhead, full body stretch. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Exhale, this time hug your knees to your chest. Allow your legs to fall to the right, excuse me, the left for a supine twist. So stack your right hip on top of your left, pull your right shoulder blade down. You can complete the spiral by gazing over your right shoulder. If that's a little too juicy, gaze where it's comfortable. Either way, breathe into any tight spaces. Feel the stretch in the middle of your back. If you have any lower back sensation, release your heels away from your booty, your knees away from your chest. Breathe in. Exhale slowly back through center. Hug your knees to your chest. Reset your spine. Allow your legs to fall to the right this time. Supine twist. Stack your left hip on top. Glue your left shoulder blade to your mat. The gluing of the shoulder blade is how you get the stretch in your middle back. So don't skip it. Don't twist out of it and let it hover. Pinch it down. Now gaze where it's comfortable. Look for the same sensation on this side. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back through center. Give yourself one final squeeze. Bring your nose to meet your knees and release to your Shavasana. I will pull you out in just a moment.
slowly. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, curl your knees towards your chest. And take this moment to acknowledge all the hard work you've put in. To know that to go full throttle halfway towards the end of class would not be possible had you not prepared. Now we all have heard that luck favors the prepared, but I would argue that when you spend the time and the energy to prepare, to get your mind, your body, your life, whatever it is right, you don't need luck. You've got confidence. You've got maybe some swagger. You've got dedication. You are ready. You are ready for whatever comes at you. You create your own luck. Like, seated position, your eyes can remain closed. Inhale your arms overhead, one last stretch. Exhale, pull your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are more than capable. You are enough. And your presence is needed here. We seal our practice with namaste. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you soon and good luck on all your endeavors. Not that you need it.